Now a corridor allows movement for something. It could be a corridor for traffic, it could be a corridor for foot traffic such as the sidewalk, it could be a corridor for our underground utilities like water or sewer, or it could be a corridor up above for our electrical utilities. Here they share the same space, and this is a good example of how they all come together. We maintain a clear corridor, just like we do with the road. So we will trim uh, open, clear space for safe electrical passage of the electricity, but we will do it every two and a half years. So once we trim, the tree has two and a half years to reclaim that space. We will come back in two and a half years and we will open up that same corridor and maintain that road and safe passage for safe and reliable electrical service. In vegetative management, we look at a tree as being a chemical distribution system. And so when we cut, some of the concepts that we use is where can we do the cut that does not harm the tree? And here's a good example of what we call a collar cut. A collar cut the branch collar is an area where the enzymes and the hormones are that will allow that wound to heal. And here you can see the actual healing tissue of a proper cut. But right above it is a branch that was trimmed that does not, was not done at the collar and there is no healing tissue. That stem will actually just rot. But if you get at the collar cut too, you allow new growth to happen as well. So the tree will respond, it will heal if cut properly, and it will provide new growth. Some of the other concepts we use in utility pruning is to use the architecture of the tree, to use what's already there. So when people see those cuts in trees that look like V's or look like C's and all, that architecture and those V's are already in the tree. We're going to use what the tree provides for us to provide a proper cut. I would like to at least point out the JEA electric wires aren't the only utilities on the poles. Generally, the higher the wire, the higher the voltage. The lowest wires are often communication cables that are insulated and do not carry the electrical hazard. And so we will not be trimming for the communication cables or often the lowest wire on the pole.